So Hansen chose the alias Cristian Tohantoro because the name has aspects of Indonesian culture in it. I love about that. Now he previously worked for a multinational company in Jakarta before resigning to travel. His goal is to become the first foreigner to travel across Indonesia from Sabang to Marauke on a motorcycle. Now during his travels, he also recorded videos showing the archipelago's natural beauty. And now we're going to have Christian Hansen himself with us here today to share his story. And here he is already with us. On his bike, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> Whoa! Yay! Hello. Oh. Hi. All of a sudden, <laughs> silence after know. the motor is out. <laughs> that is such a big motorcycle you got there. I mean, it seems that like it's very safe for you to travel. Hello, how are you? Hello. Hello. Very good, and you? How are you? Welcome good to the studio. Because yes. I remember I interviewed you, you last time. It was online. Yeah, we You were did on it our in... big screen. Right. And look at you. You're now here. <laughs> we did it in when I was in Takengong. Yes. Oh, OK. So, so that's like how many months ago? I think that was like, what, three, four months yeah. ago? It was yeah, four months ago, something like that. Oh, so then we need an update from Christian, yes, right? Yes, we definitely need an update <laughs> yeah. to the travel. Now, before we're going to ask you all about, about your travel, I mean, again, Kai was mentioning before that you actually kind of exited or you can resign from your work. Um, I why did. made what, what made you to resign your work and to do this? Yeah, so, you know, I always dreamt of having the fancy office work, you know, the suit and tie, the Mercedes, yeah. all that. Suit and tie, yeah. yeah. And then when I finally got the nice office in IFC here in Sudirman, okay. good salary and all that, you know, every day I would just sit and look out the window and just longing for, like, explore okay. what was out there. So and you're an adventurer. You yourself is an adventurer. Yeah, I guess okay. you could say that, mm -hmm. yeah. And that was the beginning of the the YouTube channel, you know, just... Yeah, he's got a YouTube channel. Yeah. And, you know, my question to that is, were you always this <laughs> adventurous before you quit your job? I believe so. I've been traveling ever since I was yay high. I've yeah. uh, been to 42 different countries. I've lived and worked in eight different countries now. Right. And yeah, so, traveling is a hmm. big part of my life. And why Indonesia? I mean, you were saying <laughs> you kind of reside everywhere else in the world, but now here you are in Indonesia and doing what you're doing right now. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, this is probably the question I get the most. Yeah. Why Indonesia? <laughs> but uh, there's so many things I could say, you know. Indonesia is such a beautiful country. We have everything here. We have rivers, lakes, mountains, beaches, islands, indigenous mm -hmm. tribes, amazing food as well. Mm, yes, of But course. the number one thing that made me realize, okay, I will stay in Indonesia for a very long time is the people. Mm -hmm. Because Indonesian people are so polite, mm -hmm. they're so kind, they're so helpful. If you go to a village far away and yeah. you're lost, you know, you will hear Ibu or Bapa say, ah, mas, mas, kopi, kopi, you know, <laughs> makan dulu, makan dulu. Ready with the coffee. Yeah. Uh, Indonesian people are definitely, in my opinion, the most kind people in the world. Right. So you have an Indonesian name. How did you yeah. come up with that or was that given to you? You know, I think Cristian Tohantoro, it came uh, from a poll I did on YouTube and someone oh. wrote it and oh. I was like, that sounded pretty good because uh, Cristianto means Christian yep. yes. uh, in Javanese and Hantoro means from the north. Okay. Ah. So the Christian from the north and yeah, that's kind of like me. Yeah. Like, ding, 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 ding. By the way, from the north, where from Denmark are you from? Just saying, context. Um, just oh. south of uh, Copenhagen, 30 mm. minutes from Copenhagen. Okay. Um, and yeah, my father lives on a big, big farm. Mm -hmm. My mother lives in a small city. Um, yeah, it's, it's amazing there. Yeah. Uh, I miss it's my so family a lot, but yeah. I definitely don't miss the cold. Oh, yeah, no, you don't miss it the cold. It is winter there. Uh, I mean, I love the cold. I mean, maybe I'm I could go and visit your family for instance, right? <laughs> Anytime. But, <laughs> they would be happy to have you. But it seems you're already very Indonesian, you know. Excuse me for saying that. No, no, How that's long okay. have you been here in Indonesia? I arrived on February 5th. 2020, so just before the pandemic. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, that's the reason why. Yeah. You know, I came here yeah. on a new expat contract, actually, for a logistics okay. company, and um, I had just had the job for one week, and then we went into lockdown, and then right. working from home for like eight months. Yeah. And I think we all know that working a lot from home gives you a lot of time to think about things. Yeah. Like, right. Think right. about your life, yeah. and 
that made me realize, okay, you know, 28 years old, still single, no house, uh, no dogs, no kids. <laughs> so if I wanted to do something big, Right, this is the time, right? The time. I couldn't imagine because I would thought you'd be here only like more than five years. It seems because you're very, you know, in the yeah. region, you're adapting to the culture itself, but you're just like very recent. Oh my goodness! Yeah. All right. So tell us about your baby right here. I mean, you don't have dogs and cats, but <laughs> you, you have do have your motorcycle. I do have <laughs> yes. that. So actually, my motorcycle is in Banjarmasin right now in oh. Kalimantan. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm just here in Jakarta for a short stay. Mm -hmm. And this is um, this is the same model, the KTM 790 Adventure R. Right. Um, because once I finished Travel Sumatra, KTM, they asked me if I wanted to become the brand ambassador. Oh. Ah. Yeah. So thank you very cool. much. So they actually gave me oh. this model to <laughs> okay. ride around Indonesia. Very cool. And whenever I'm in Jakarta, then they make sure I have it. Another one to ride on as well. I think it's very steadfast, you know, throughout all the weather and whatnot. I mean, it's pretty much raining all over Indonesia mm. right now. And then you have the cold weather. I mean, not cold, but like rain and high and whatnot. Weather. Exactly. <laughs> you have the beaches and the mountains. This could uphold to any terrain then. This bike can handle everything. It oh. took me uh, a full day through the um, Sawit, uh, palm oil plantations yep. yes. in West Kalimantan. It took me th through the flooding, when there was flooding in yeah. Albat last month. Mm -hmm. I was in water up to here, sitting on the bike. Wow. It handled it no problem. We've been through a lot and, yeah, hasn't failed me yet. <laughs> I mean, you... I'm amazed, sorry. I, I, I'm amazed just because, you know, Indonesia has been through so much and you've witnessed so much from natural mm -hmm. disasters, from yeah. what the people are, you know, going through in real time, not just in the cities, but mm -hmm. literally on your travels. So, what was the best thing so far that you've uh, seen in regards to the people of Indonesia and its culture? Oh, another really good question. There's so many places. Mm -hmm. Difficult to answer because I've already been so many places and... Yeah, there's tons of good places in Sumatra, but if I were to highlight two like very specific places, I would say living with the Mentawai tribe mm. in, in Sibirut Island in West Sumatra. Okay. That was a fantastic yeah. experience, you know, you feel like you're jumping several hundreds of years back in time, yeah. living with them deep in the jungle. Uh, they still only speak Basa Mentawai, Mentawai mm -hmm. language, right? Yeah. And then uh, living with the Dayak Iban tribe mm. in uh, West Kalimantan. Yep. Okay. Um, incredible experience as well. And I took home some souvenirs. Uh, Did you get it yeah. the traditional way? This is Amazing. from wow. the shaman. Hey, can you show the camera? Yes. Yeah, sure. So this Where is, is the camera? The traditional. Yeah, right. We have all of it. Yeah, you can show it to all yeah. over. There you uh, go. This one is made by uh, shaman <laughs> Aman Bauna from okay. the Mentawai tribe. And this one is the Buang Terong. Um, yeah made at the Dayagiban tribe in uh, Sungai Utek. Yeah, because it's different, right? Because you yeah. use the tattoos, you use machine. These, like, use kind these of the, like the, the yeah, old school yeah, ish exactly. thing. But you you yeah. usually would get two of that here. Hey, yeah. you know a little bit about of that. Of course. Yeah, so the thing is, this one is kind of special as well, because uh -huh. normally your first tattoo with Dayagiban have to be here. Yeah. And it have to be two of them, right? Yeah. Okay. But I already have tattoo all the way here. OK. Ah. Uh, and so I got special permission to make one here. And you always have to make two. Mm -hmm. So they told me I can make one, but only if I promise to come back and make another one. Oh, so you got to come place. back. So you got to have a very here. excited about that. Yeah, I mean, that was such. A, you know what? I am jealous of you because I'm an Indonesian, <laughs> but it seems that you know more of our culture. You know more of the people, especially in the indigenous people and whatnot. Uh, I think you became somewhat an ambassador to us all Indonesians that we need to love our culture mm -hmm. and our tradition and also our people. And you know to. Do you elaborate more on that? It seems that, you know, the first thing that comes into my mind is only you and your motorbike, right? <laughs> and you meet new people and whatnot. Do you even feel scared in a bit or intimidated, especially you're going from, you know, uh, regions to regions, from island to island and whatnot, and it's different tradition, different culture, different language. And, and how do you communicate speaking mm -hmm. language? So I speak Indonesian, right? Yeah. So I use that every day. And there's actually... Every time there's been like a small incident where I thought, okay, this could be like something really bad could happen, right? right? For example, right. when someone pulled a, a gun on me mm -hmm. in... Oh, oh, really? Yeah. I was like, okay, this is it. But it was a police officer. Uh, and he <laughs> just wanted to ask me if I wanted to try it. Right. No? It's a police officer <laughs> trapped you. Oh, ooh. No, it was on, it was on Jalan Jalan, you know, and it was a joke. But okay, that's, yeah, yeah. that's when I got really nervous, right? Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's... I, there's never anything for me to worry about. 
So, you know, I'm curious though, how you can speak Bahasa Indonesia. Mm. How long does it take you to learn Bahasa Indonesia? Uh, so I had a teacher for like six months, okay. the first six months I was here, and then at some point I was like, okay, you know what, I'm just going to learn more as soon as I start traveling more. Yeah. So Ooh. a lot of what I've learned is just by, you know, uh, hanging out with locals, mm. nongkrong, mm. Love that. Yeah. Just... And we wish to speak Bahasa Indonesia with Christian right now, <laughs> you know, you feel embarrassed yourself. I mean. I mean, I mean, the question is, you just mentioned it's just you and the motorcycle. Yeah. Why not bring a friend along? Yeah, you know, sometimes I will have someone join me. For example, I've had my family out, I have mm -hmm. my brother riding with me as well. Uh, the challenging part is I'm working like every day. When yeah. I was in the office, I would work Monday to Friday. Now mm -hmm. I'm working like Monday to Sunday, 6 to 10 in the evening, right? Oh, okay. Because I'm doing everything on my own. Yes. And yes, this can get lonely sometimes, for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, but besides the people I meet on the road, I have this massive YouTube community now mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And they are, this is so amazing. They are so grateful for being able to travel Indonesia with me because we can learn about Indonesia together. Yes. Mm. So whenever I feel a little bit lonely, I just have to go and read some comments, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, that will lighten my mood as well. And You can go nongkrong in every corner. There's always a coffee shop, right? Always a coffee shop. You always have a friend. Always. So, so out of curiosity, you've tackled Sumatra. Last time we spoke, you've tackled, I think you just finished Sumatra, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, almost finished Sumatra. Yeah. And now you're already in Borneo. Yeah. So, um, where next? Ah, so um, I'll go back to Kalimantan then. I will finish uh, Eastern Kalimantan, Northern Kalimantan, and then the plan is to come back to Java, actually. Oh, Ooh. you're gonna come back. I have traveled a lot of Java already, yes. but not for the Sabang Sabang Merauke trip. So yes. I'll go from west to east, and then Bali, Lombok, Sumbawa, Sumba, Flores. So, I mean, so it's like the agenda is full for Yeah, so you're gonna finish the northern side first and then come back from the west to Java. And so, ah. You know what, but you know, there are still a lot of things that Christian has up on his sleeves for 2023, and you guys don't wanna miss is that so stay tuned right here to see the stories will continue after the break so don't go anywhere